Hey everyone, how's it going? So I figured since I've done quite a few hauls, I would do a couple of videos um, consecutively of products I'm actually using up or that I am getting ready to use up. So this is a new products I fit pan on video, which I cannot remember the last time I've done one of these. Um, I think the empties videos have kind of replaced it, but I, I kid you not, I hit pan on two of these products in the same exact week and then not long after that um, I hit pan on the other one so I thought that that was a sign that I should do another one of these again. Um, so yeah, the other first thing I want to start with is my Maybelline Duo in brown tones. This is the second one of these I purchased. You guys know how much I love this duo if you've been watching me for a while. Um, I first got this like two years ago and I absolutely loved it and then I bought it again once I used it up. But I hit pan on this, I don't know how well you can see with the lighting, but I hit pan on this lightest shade here. There you go, you can kind of see there. Um, and this is just a really nice light taupe color, which looks like that. Um, it looks a little harsh, but it actually is really, really flattering. Um, it's very pigmented. It goes great with like warm tones and cooler tones if you want to mix, mix this with other eyeshadow colors. Um, just one of those like quick and easy kind of throw it in your bag and you have a really nice simple eye look that will go with everything. Um, and it's like 3 or $4 so I really like that. Next I have Hip Pan on my Burt's Bees Lemon Butter Cuticle Cream which I really like. I got this probably a year ago, almost two years ago now, um, so it's lasted me a really, really long time. Um, so yeah, it's got a little crack right here in the bottom of it where you can see the pan. Um, and this is really, really nice and moisturizing. Um, it's really, really quick and easy to use. I just use it after I take off my old polish and put on a fresh color. Um, you don't really have to wait for it to dry or anything. It just... Um, really absorbs really nicely, makes your hands and cuticles look really nice, and keeps them from drying out a whole lot, so yeah. There's that. I have also hit pan on my Rimmel Stay Matte Powder, which I feel like I've had for a while. Um, I feel like this is the never ending powder, I've never hit pan on this. There's quite a bit of product in here. Um, I like think it's 30 mil or something like that, I don't know. Um, but yeah, this just does a good job of keeping my face um, matte for a couple of hours, especially in the summertime. I really liked this because it's more of like a cakey consistency. It wasn't like a finely milled powder or loose powder or anything like that. Um, but I really like this lately for setting my foundation. So there's that. This is also really affordable, like four bucks. So gotta love that. Next, I hit pan on my NARS blush in the color Madly, which kind of blew me away. Um, I don't think I've ever hit pan on the blush so quickly. I've only had this for like five months maybe. Um, that shows you how much I've worn it. I wear it constantly. Um, I wore it a ton in the summer. It's just one of those great, now the screen is going blue. Um, sorry about that, but it's just one of those really great everyday colors that literally goes with any look, whether you want to do more colorful look or a neutral look, a smoky eye, anything. Um, it just gives you a really nice bronze look. Um, I'm actually wearing it today. It just, it's just so easy to wear and it's a really, really nice formula too. So there's that. And then the last thing I have to pan on is my MAC eyeshadow in Sad. Um, <laughs> I love this color so much. Um, I'm not going to talk about it too much because I'm sure you guys know how much I love it, but literally goes with anything just like that NARS blush. You can wear it with cooler tones or warm tones on the eyes. It's great in the crease. Um, it's nice all over the lid um, and it's even great as a best friend color to blend out your crease and your highlight and kind of bring your whole look together. Um, it's amazing and I literally wanted to post an Instagram picture so bad when I first hit pan on this um, but I refrained so I could show you guys in this video. So yeah, super stoked about that. And that is it for all of the products I've hit pan on. Um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and by the way, I did not know when I made my last video that they stopped the video responses on YouTube. I'm not okay with that. Um, that actually makes me really sad, um, but leave a comment down below if you've hit pan on something recently and what you think about it, um, and I think that is about it, so I will see you guys later. Bye!